In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Git in your Windows 10 computer. If you have a Linux or Mac OS computer, Git is already been installed in those operating system, but it is not installed by default in Windows computer. You can open your command prompt, type Git or Git version and it will tell you whether git is installed or not so you can clearly see it is not it is not installed in the windows operating system so type in git and go to the git official website and uh, you can download the latest version here that's going to be 2.37.3 for now i'm going to click here and i'm going to select 64 bit version and it's a very small program it will get downloaded instantly click on that I have two monitors so i have to drag it over here now accept the gnu general public license and then i'm going to leave program files as the default for git install and then i'm also going to select this one so i will have a shortcut on my desktop i always like to have a shortcut on my desktop so i will select that one and it is asking uh, where should setup place the program shortcut this means setup will create the program shortcut in the following start menu folder it is like uh, you click here and then you see these folders uh, like a dell install all their program in their dell startup folder so it is similar thing. So I'm going to select Git as the default one. So I know it is Git folder. And then I'm going to use a Vim as the default editor. And then for the branch name, that is by default is master. I'm going to leave uh, Git decide. So that means it's going to be master. And then it is also asking how would uh, you like to use git from the command line i'm going to select this one i'm going to be able to use git from uh, windows command line powershell and also from the third party software so it is a recommended option here and then open ssh it is used for secure network connection i'm going to use the default bundle come with the git program and same as here it is a certificate is also involved with the secure connection i'm going to leave that open ssl that come with the git and then i'm going to leave this as a default also that is the how should git read line ending in the text file it related to text file uh, formatting i'm going to leave it as default and then i'm going to leave this also as default and then this is also going to be default that is a git pull when you use git pull you want to have a default behavior used by git so i will leave this as a default pretty much you are going to select all the default option when you install this git program and i will leave this credential manager also as a default one and then this also for the caching i will enable the one enable file system caching and then you don't need any experimental option here just don't choose any of them leave it as default and now it's installing the program now it has completed the install I'm going to uncheck this one and I'm going to go here you see here it has been installed here I'm going to go to the command prompt again and I'm going to probably I need to close it and reopen git you see now I see Git has been installed here. 
git version you see this is the version we installed the latest one 2.37.3 for windows if this video is helpful for you please hit the like button also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification so you don't miss my future videos